Hello? Hi, Daddy. Who is this? Your daughter? No, that's not possible. My daughter's asleep, and I know that because I kissed her goodnight almost two hours ago. When are you and Mommy coming home? There are times when we make history. It doesn't matter. You're going to be asleep by then, right? And there are times when history makes us. Good night, Daddy. Good night, little P. <laughs> to ensure you that the same American dream shared by our fathers, our mothers. It's weird. Yeah. Ours just went black, too. Secretary, you need to put the phone down. Mike, what the hell is going on? I said put the phone Man. down. Is this some kind of explosion? <laughs> Mike, please, just tell us what you know. Capitol's been attacked. Congress. Capitol. Eagle is gone. Sir, you are now the President of the United States. This is the most devastating attack on our country since 9-11. Anyone claim your responsibility? Not yet. This guy's never been elected to anything. Did you know President Richmond fired him this morning? Now he's the president. Maybe he'll realize he has no business running the country. We're in a state of war. Tom Kirkman is not going to get us through this. What the hell am I doing here? I'm not the guy for this. Is Dad scared? Dad's not scared of anything. Do you really believe I should step down? I do. You may be right. But for now, I'm all you got. The world thinks it can test us right now. What do you want me to do, General? Declare war? There are different ways to show force. We are going to do this my way. If it doesn't work, we'll try yours. You're still on my side. My mom is on your side, Mr. President. Whoever did this is just getting started. Mr. President, you need to be stronger than you've ever been before. Mr. President, you're live in five. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States. So help me God.